What's poppin' bikes? The second episode of Semen Unsolved airs today, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm Kara. I'm Haley, and this is your Daily News. Next Wednesday is the last day to bring canned food items to your seminar. Now let's go on over and see how we can get into Friday's playoff game. In the criminal justice system, excessive hallway behavior is considered heinous. In Seaman High School, the hallway patrol is an elite squad catching the criminals in action. <laughs> It doesn't take a traffic guard to know how to walk through a hallway. Don't run. Don't stop. Walk appropriately. International Thespian Society is hosting Trick or Treat so kids can eat. The event lasts all October and the winning seminar gets a pizza party. Varsity Boys Soccer ended their season with 6-0 loss to St. Thomas Aquinas last night. There is a football game this Friday against Sumner Academy at home. This is a playoff game, so you can't get in with your athletic pass. Cost to get in is $5 for students and $7 for everyone else. Come out and support the Vikes. Weatherman Ryan is back at it again to, with today's weather. Now let's go see what he predicts. Okay, Vikes, here's your weather. You can see today's forecast it is currently 62, and tonight it doesn't drop too much, only in the 50s. Now, if you look at your three day forecast, you can see it's kind of a roller coaster ride. You start in the 60s, go down into the 49, back up into the 60s, relatively a nice week. Now, for the game on Friday, it's a little rough around the edges, but we stay relatively warm compared to the weather ahead as we stay above freezing. Now, as we look at Hurricane Wallaka, which sunk an eastern Hawaiian island this morning, not looking too good for the Hawaiian folk. Now, snow outlook for the next months ahead. For you snow lovers out there, you're not going to get snow until the last week of November, but we should stay warm. Now, back to your anchors. In this episode of Semen Unsolved, Mr. Monahan and Ms. Elpin share their haunted experiences. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, I don't know if I was hearing things. I heard like whispering and there was no one there. I believe this school's haunted. It was uh, about six or seven years ago. I had my back turned towards that corner. I'm sitting over in this area or probably at this desk. Heard a distant, hey, but it sounded a lot more sinister than that. No one was, almost no one was here. We were all here closed up one night. This is back when I was on night shift. Everything was off, everything. And we seen a woman looking through the glass windows down there. But we went down there, nobody was here. And then I have another one. We were all outside here. The wooden doors downstairs, they were shut and we heard them open and slam. Do I think Siemens haunted? My personal opinion? Yeah, there's something here. Since the last part, we've had a lot of students and teachers come to us wanting to talk about their ghost experiences here at Seaman. We decided that first we'd have to interview the person who would know the most about whether or not Seaman was indeed haunted. Say your name and how you spell it. Mike Monahan. M-O-N-A-G-H-A-N. Mr. Monahan has been at Seaman for five years. Monahan's job as principal is to care for the students and always keep their safety as number one priority. So we talked to him about any hauntings or ghost experiences he might have had here at Seaman. 
Well, not in the building itself, although I've been here, you know, late at night or weekends, and you hear noises and things like that, but I don't believe that the building itself is haunted. Monaghan was nice enough to share some information with us. With that being said, we asked him if he thought semen was haunted. Alright, so you don't think semen is haunted? The building itself, no. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Next, we asked some students here if they thought the school could be haunted. Here are their answers. Do you think Seaman High School is haunted? No. Why? Because ghosts aren't regal. No, I don't think Seaman High School is haunted because I haven't had any spooky experiences. I think Seaman High is haunted because when I'm running in team sports, something always tries to trip me. No. I don't believe Seaman is haunted, no. no. It's not scary enough. Because if it was haunted, there would be ghosts. And I've never seen no stinking ghost. And there's not a scary thing about any teacher or thing in this school. Yeah, no scaries. Not scared. Nope. Nope. Not I. Do you think Seaman High School is haunted? Yes. Okay, why? Um, there's some spooky stuff happening, man. No, because I just think ghosts are a bunch of made up stuff made up by, I don't know, you flat earthers and whatever, I don't know. Lastly, we heard from someone that Miss Halpin had some strange experiences with her drawers and cabinets opening and closing. We decided to talk to her about it. So, I have a thing about doors and drawers and cabinets being closed. And the other day, I left my room and I came back and like three of my cabinet doors were open in the back of my room. So I closed them and I came back and started working my desk and then I heard a noise and I looked back and three different cabinet doors were open. It was just kind of odd. I, I closed everything up, came back down, started working and five minutes later, again, a couple drawers opened just slightly, a couple cabinet doors opened. It was very freaky. It has to be a ghost. It's a pretty old building, so, I mean, people have died. Um, sometimes there are knocks in the walls. Told me that the clock used to stop at the time that the teacher before her died in this room. So we're gonna go out, find out if Seaman High is really haunted. I think that it's very possible that Seaman is haunted. Oh, it's seemingly possible that this school's haunted. Haha, <laughs> good one, Kara. That's all we have for today, Viking fans. Have a great four-day weekend, and good luck to everyone taking the ACT on Saturday.